kind of magical adventure because it involved a supernatural element. The main question I get is, is Simon gay? That's not the main question. It is the main question. No, it is. David Walliams is known for his comic timing and brilliant writing and has won the hearts of audiences around the world. Oh, can you hear me? I'm in California. His iconic show Little Britain put him on the map. His efforts to raise money for charity earned him honors in the British royal court, and his antics on Britain's Got Talent made him a household name. However, recent years have not been too kind to David. He lost the love of his life in a divorce and has been booted from the reality TV show for his inappropriate behavior on screen, yet he remains one of the most beloved figures for millions of people. Join us as we take you through the journey of David's life to find out how he rose to fame and eventually fell from grace. David Edward Williams, or as he is better known as David Walliams, was born on August 20, 1971 at St. Teresa's Maternity Hospital in Wimbledon, London. His father, Peter Williams, was a London transport engineer, and his mother, Kathleen Williams, was a laboratory technician who worked at Sutton Grammar School. David grew up in a small household in Banstead, Surrey, in the residential area of Nork. He lived with his parents and sister, Julie. Even from a young age, it was clear that David had a natural ability to make people laugh. With time, this only grew, and he became known for bringing joy to the people around him. This passion for performing arts inspired him to pursue his education in drama at the prestigious University of Bristol. During his time at university, David joined the famous comedy group, The Footlights. It has already produced a number of comedy legends, including John Cleese and Stephen Fry. Being a member of The Footlights allowed David to refine his comic timing, and it also helped him in developing his skills as an actor and writer. His time with the group was a transformative experience for him and it boosted his career even further. It gave him opportunities where he could show off his comedic talent in several different performances and solidify his spot as a rising star in the comedic scene. David had his first big break when he joined forces with fellow comedian and actor Matt Lucas to create the first of its kind comedy show, Little Britain. This groundbreaking show debuted in 2003, and it was only the beginning of a remarkable partnership between David and Lucas. Their combined creative genius was reflected in their writings and performances, and this earned them a lot of praise on British television. However, before these two introduced Little Britain to the audience, they worked on Mash and Peas. It was a comedy sketch that delighted the viewers with its fresh approach and humor. The two of them also ventured into parody with Sir Bernard Stately Holmes, which just showed how versatile they were with their comedic prowess. David and Matt gained an even larger following when they appeared in Rock Profile. This was a spoof interview show where the two of them dressed up as famous musicians such as Elton John, Bono, and Liam Gallagher, who was the lead vocalist for the 1990s British band, Oasis. The audience knew who David and Matt were, but it was the television adaptation of their radio show, Little Britain, that propelled them towards stardom. Through a series of side-splitting sketches, they portrayed a host of eccentric and outrageous characters from different corners of Great Britain. The show was an instant hit with the fans, even though it sometimes had controversial moments. Little Britain's popularity soared, and it introduced a lot of new catchphrases to British slang. The show was immensely successful, and it received a lot of awards and nominations, including the prestigious British Academy of Film and Television Arts Award for Best Comedy Series in both 2004 and 2005. The duo also went on a sold-out live tour, and they amused the fans with their on-stage chemistry and comic mastery. The show became so popular that it crossed borders and led to the creation of a spin-off called Little Britain, USA. This aired on the American cable station HBO for a season. David's other projects, and Little Britain in particular, made him a household name in the United Kingdom and secured his position as a comedic genius. Journey Beyond Little Britain after the success of Little Britain, David Walliams was on the rise along with his career. This also put him in the spotlight of the rest of the entertainment industry. During this time, he seamlessly transitioned to many other acting roles as well and showed people his versatility and range. David started off with the role of a manipulative socialite in the movie, Capturing Mary. He starred alongside the famous actress Maggie Smith and showed the world his depth as an actor. He had the ability to move from comedic to dramatic roles without skipping a beat. Apart from the projects in drama, David also moved into feature films. 
he joined the star-studded cast of comedic talents in Dinner for Schmucks, where he held his own against actors like Steve Carell. He also appeared in the television miniseries called Partners in Crime. David played the character of a married detective in the show. He did find a lot of success in acting, but at the same time, he continued to hone his creative skills as a writer. He reunited with Matt Lucas to co-create the British TV series called Come Fly With Me. The two of them combined their talents and assumed the roles of an airport's offbeat flight and ground staff. However, David decided to expand his horizons even further. He found success in children's literature as well when he released his debut novel, The Boy in the Dress, in 2008. This was a story about a 12-year-old boy who is passionate about football and also enjoys cross-dressing. It combined the elements of compassion with humorous moments, and it reminded people of the style of the renowned author, Roald Dahl. The novel became a sensation throughout the nation and topped the bestseller charts in Britain. Seeing the success of his first novel, David wrote more stories for children with catchy titles like Mr. Stink, Billionaire Boy, Gangsta Granny, and Demon Dentist. These stories were truly captivating, and even though they were written for children, they still interested readers of all ages. Some of them were adapted into television movies, and David even took up some of the memorable roles within these adaptations. Some of his work made their way onto the stage and were hugely successful there as well. This included the popular play called Awful Auntie. In addition to his novels, David also dabbled in the world of picture books. He had a knack for enchanting young readers with imaginative tales, such as The Slightly Annoying Elephant, The First Hippo on the Moon, and The Bear Who Went Boo. Apart from stories for children, David also co-authored the book Inside Little Britain and wrote his own autobiography called Camp David. This gave his fans an insight into his personal life and how he found his success. His literary accomplishments and his success on the stage and television were undeniable, but David is also known for his philanthropic services to the world. He made great efforts to raise money for sport relief. He co-hosted a segment for the organization's telethon with media personalities like Miranda Hart, Gary Linekar, and Davina McCall. On July 4, 2006, David also swam the English Channel for sport relief. It took him 10 hours and 34 minutes to swim the 22-mile stretch of sea, which is equivalent to 700 lengths of an Olympic-sized swimming pool. This helped him raise over 1 million pounds in donations for the organization. Then on March 7, 2008, David swam through the 12-mile Strait of Gibraltar from Spain to Morocco. James Cracknell was with him during this, and they successfully completed the swim in four and a half hours. In March 2010, David and a group of other celebrities cycled an end-to-end -end journey through the UK. They were able to raise over a million pounds once again for sport relief. The following year, he participated in the 24-hour panel People. These were back-to-back -back recordings of various panel show formats over 24 hours to raise money for comic relief. David took part in 19 episodes of classic TV panel shows, and the recordings were streamed live on the BBC website. Also from September 5th to 12th in 2011, David swam the length of the River Thames. The river is approximately 140 miles in length, and David was able to raise more than two million pounds for sport relief. This also resulted in him getting giardiasis, and he also ended up injuring a disc in his spine, which required an emergency surgery in late 2013. In recognition of his contribution to society, David was honored as an officer of the Order of the British Empire in 2017. The rise and fall of David Walliams on Britain's Got Talent. David's journey on the talent show can only be described as extraordinary. From the moment he joined the show in 2012, he brought a certain energy and a unique charm that made him instantly popular with the fans and other judges. His dynamic and playful banter with Simon Cowell became one of the highlights of the show, and it depicted a delightful contrast between David's lively personality and Simon's more reserved nature. Over the 10-year tenure he had with Britain's Got Talent, David created some of the most memorable and entertaining moments in the history of the show. However, it was his heartfelt connection with the contestants that set him apart from the other judges. One instance that left the audiences in awe of David was during his interaction with a young singer, Malachi Bayo. As the boy was mustering enough courage to perform, his nerves got the better of him and he broke down in tears. In that touching moment, David rushed to the stage and embraced the child. He spoke to Malachi encouragingly, 
and helped him regain his composure to continue with his performance. This display of empathy showed the world David's amazing ability to connect with the contestants during their most vulnerable moments. Williams was a fan favorite for many years, but this did not last forever. In November 2022, a controversial incident involving him came to light. The Guardian reported that David had made some inappropriate comments about contestants behind the scenes during the audition for Britain's Got Talent in January 2020. The leaked transcripts revealed a series of disturbing facts about David during the auditions. According to The Guardian, the transcripts showed that David used offensive language and made some terrible comments including derogatory and sexually explicit remarks about some of the contestants. All this took place during a recorded audition show at the London Palladium, and what made it worse was the fact that the show was intended for all audiences, including children. Lawyers for Walliams and the production company behind Britain's Got Talent argued that the comments were part of a private conversation that was never supposed to be broadcast. One specific incident mentioned in the transcript involved an older performer who had engaged in a light-hearted banter with the judges. He made some funny remarks, particularly about David. The audition was obviously unsuccessful, and when the contestant had walked off stage and was out of earshot, David was recorded making abusive comments about him three times. What he said was picked up by the microphones that were still on to capture the discussion between the judges. This shocking incident not only tarnished David's reputation as a humble judge on Britain's Got Talent, but also raised some serious doubts about his true nature behind the scenes. This also spilled over to the integrity of the show itself, as this was supposed to be all family-friendly. People were left wondering how such behavior could be allowed in a reality TV show that is broadcast around the world. They were also critical of the other judges who were aware of David's actions, but chose to remain silent on the matter. However, the disturbing revelations about David simply did not stop there. Another incident took place when a female contestant finished her audition and walked off stage. David said that she was boring and went on to make sexually offensive remarks about her. He said that she was only interested in romantic encounters with him and was not all that serious about the audition. Needless to say, David's comments were incredibly crude and disrespectful. Even after these transcripts came to light, instead of properly apologizing, David and his associates tried to downplay the severity of his actions. They claimed that these were just private conversations between friends. Williams issued a statement in which he tried to say sorry to those he disrespected, but he added that these statements were made during the breaks in filming for Britain's Got Talent in 2020. He also argued that none of this was supposed to be made public because they were the kind of conversations someone might have in private with trusted friends. Regardless of that, it is clear that such comments are very inappropriate and should never be made about the contestants on a TV show. A spokesperson for the production company, Thames, behind the show, addressed the controversy surrounding David's unacceptable language. He said that even though they think that the remarks were supposed to be private, they are still unsuitable. David was reminded of the standards that the company expects of him as a judge on the show. The Guardian also revealed that the three leaked transcripts they got had no such other comments from any of the judges. There was no indication that Simon Cowell or anyone else displayed such behavior towards the contestants. Even though Simon is often known for his direct and honest feedback to the contestants, there have been no reports or evidence that link to these incidents. His lawyers have maintained that Simon was not a part of these conversations, and he denies even hearing these remarks made by David Williams. Simon and his company, Psycho Entertainment, distanced themselves from David's behavior, and they said that they did not, in any way, condone these remarks. The Legal Battle In a shocking turn of events, David Williams felt utterly betrayed by the disclosure of his scandalous remarks so he decided to take legal action against Britain's Got Talent for leaking the explicit content of his rant about the contestants. The creators of the reality TV show wanted to settle the dispute with David through friendlier means, but at the same time they were ready to defend their position if it came to that. The word on the streets was that David filed a huge lawsuit against the production company Fremantle. He was seeking damages and lost earnings which amounted to a staggering 10 million pounds. According to reports, this case was based on the violation of David's data protection rights. Allegedly, his mic was intentionally left switched on and was actively recording during the entire filming process, 
which included the breaks as well. He also claimed that thousands of hours worth of recordings were collected and transcribed, which captured not only his public remarks, but also personal and confidential conversations. There were also rumors that David struggled mentally after his departure from Britain's Got Talent and had distressing thoughts of self-destruction. This was due to the leaked snippets of him making offensive comments about the contestants which made the headlines. Fremantle expressed their disappointment towards David for taking legal action against them. They had a long-standing and fruitful collaboration together but still, they were committed to engaging in an open and constructive dialogue with the actor and comedian. They hoped that an agreement could be reached, but they were not hesitant in taking actions to protect themselves either. As if all of this wasn't enough, comedian Claire Harrison McCartney also came forward and claimed that these offensive remarks were directed at her. She labeled David as a pitiful misogynist, but the show's producers denied these allegations. They said that the remarks were not targeted at Claire, but only at the contestant in question. During all of this boiling drama, David realized that it was time for him to part ways with the show. He accepted responsibility for his actions and bad conduct and decided to step down as a judge from Britain's Got Talent. The Replacement of David Walliams The channel found themselves in another trouble as they now had to look for a worthy successor to fill the void left behind by Walliams. It was revealed that the icon of Strictly Come Dancing, Bruno Tonioli would be taking up the mantle of a judge on Britain's Got Talent. However, the announcement was met with a bittersweet anticipation. David's charm and antics on the show had made him almost irreplaceable on the show. The first round of auditions returned to the London Palladium after weeks of speculation. Bruno, the Italian maestro, was known for his choreography and expertise in dancing. He joined the judging lineup of the ITV talent show alongside Simon Cowell, Amanda Holden, and Alicia Dixon. Co-hosts Ant McPartland and Declan Donnelly were also seen entering the London Theatre on January 24, 2023, with Simon Cowell. Bruno Tonioli had charmed audiences for years on Strictly Come Dancing, so he should not have been too unfamiliar with the format of Britain's Got Talent, right? That wasn't the case, though, as he found himself navigating through an unfamiliar territory, and his journey was full of its fair share of difficulties. Andrew Stanton was the impressive daredevil who astoundingly pulled a truck using a system attached to his eye sockets. During this performance, Bruno and the other judges were invited to join the daredevil on the stage. Tonioli was initially hesitant to participate, and his experience took a surprising turn. When he was approaching the truck, he uttered a vulgar word which was followed by a not again by Simon. The incident did not go unnoticed by the audience, and Twitter was buzzing with people who were delighted by the moment of confusion among the judges. During this discussion online, another revelation came to light. Tonioli had already pressed the golden buzzer twice, which is a clear violation of the show's rules. The dancing veteran was unaware of what that meant, and he even admitted that he had never actually watched Britain's Got Talent before. He claimed that he did not want to be influenced by the judging styles from previous series, this caused him to activate the golden buzzer by accident when the audience erupted into cheers for a performance. People did not escalate the issue as they saw it as an honest mistake, and to be fair, it was quite funny. Controversies in David Walliams' personal life Ever since David dropped the news of him leaving Britain's Got Talent, he has been suspiciously absent from the public eye. Maybe it is a deliberate attempt to keep a low profile, considering that the world is still reeling from the shock of his controversial comments. In an attempt to portray a gentler image of himself, the comedian shared a touching photo with his son, dressed as the beloved protagonist from his recently released book, Robo Dog. However, many people still argue that the damage has already been done. David's marriage has also been in the limelight for the wrong reasons. He started dating his ex-wife Lara Stone in 2009 when he met her during a chance encounter at a Chelsea football match. Lara confessed that she was nervous during their first encounter but to her relief, she soon discovered that the two of them shared a similar sense of humor. Lara recalled their first date during an interview with Dutch Vogue. She said that when she texted David to thank him for dinner, his reply caught her off guard because he responded playfully by asking her who she was. The two of them got engaged in January 2010, and on May 16th of the same year, they tied the knot. The wedding ceremony was held in the Claridge's Hotel in central London. The event was attended by a star-studded guest list, including the likes of Sir Elton John, 
Russell Brand, and Stephen Fry. Just four months after they had officially gotten married, they had another extravagant celebration at the same hotel. This time, the ceremony was attended by only their close friends and families, but it still ended up costing a staggering 80,000 pounds. It seemed as if everything had fallen into place perfectly for Williams. But just five years after his marriage to Lara Stone, the couple filed for divorce in 2015. This was made worse by the fact that their son, Alfred, was only two years old at the time. The divorce was a messy one, and David cited unreasonable behavior on behalf of Lara. Surprisingly, she opted to take the blame during the legal proceedings, even though according to sources, it was her decision to pursue the divorce. Their five-year marital bond quickly became undone within just six weeks. According to an insider who confided in the son at the time, David was reluctant to entertain the idea of a divorce and wanted to stay together with Lara. However, she was not budging from her decision and asked David to relent for the sake of their son, Alfred. Rumors are that David was absolutely devastated by the divorce. However, Lara moved on from her ex-husband pretty quickly. She met David Grieveson through the dating app, Tinder in 2018, and a few months later, they announced their engagement. In February 2020, after only two years of dating, Lara was seen showing off her diamond ring at a VIP dinner in Mayfair. She took to Instagram in July 2021 and revealed that she had entered into a bond of marriage with Grieveson during a private ceremony. After his split with Lara in 2015, Williams has been linked with a couple of famous women but they have only been able to capture his heart for fleeting moments. From the Maiden Chelsea star, Ashley James, to the glamorous Hollywood actress, Kate Beckinsale, David's love life has been a whirlwind of passion. Apart from these movie stars, David has also been seen with a couple of models. He dated the Playboy model, Emily Agnes, for a while. Then he moved on to the former Miss Norway contender, Sylvia Floyd. However, all of these were just brief romances that amounted to nothing serious for David. He wanted to settle down and find a love that would stand the test of time. So, in 2022, there were reports that he joined the celebrity dating app Raya in hopes of finding a lasting relationship. Rumors are that he is using photos of himself with two of his pet dogs, Bert and Ernie, on his profile. David has also revealed that he is in a marriage pact with Sheridan Smith. While talking on the show Lorraine on ITV, he said the two of them always have fun when they are together. He added that they have talked to each other about getting married when they are older and have exhausted all other options. David and his son Walliams has always been committed to protecting his son's privacy. Ever since Alfred was born in 2013, David and his ex-wife Lara have deliberately tried to shield him from the public eye. Despite their own high-profile careers, they are determined to give Alfred a normal life. Both of them have been very careful not to share their son's face on social media and have tried to keep him out of the spotlight. During an interview with Hello! Magazine in 2023, Williams opened up about his experience as a father and the bond that he shares with his son. He talked about wanting to give Alfred an ordinary life that is free from all the invasion of privacy that comes with fame. David is well aware of the challenges that living in front of the public brings and he thinks that it has a bad effect, especially on children. The issues are amplified even further if children are exposed to the entertainment industry. David is of the view that nothing good would come out of it, especially if a child chooses to lead a private life later. This concern for the well-being and privacy of Alfred and other children in the entertainment industry shows just how committed he is to his son. He understands the complications that arise with fame. Just like other celebrities such as Gigi Hadid, Zayn Malik, Ryan Gosling, and Ava Mendes, David Walliams also values his son's privacy above everything else. However, he did show the world a heartwarming glimpse into the relationship between him and his son during an interview on This Morning in 2020. He talked about how close he is with Alfred and even admitted that his input plays a significant role in his literary success. David also disclosed his secret to his creative process and said that he collaborates with his son when he is coming up with ideas for his books. During their discussions, the father and son duo brainstormed ideas for stories. In fact, it was Alfred who came up with the concept of combining various scary monsters from around the world to make the mega monster. This idea instantly clicked in David's mind and he embraced it. He believed it to be the perfect title for his next book. 
This heartwarming exchange between father and son tells a lot about the special bond that David shares with Alfred. Best children's stories come from a child's mind most of the time, and this is the perfect example of it. Ideas that Alfred has come up with have helped David breathe life into his stories, making them even more fascinating for young readers. Even with all the stories and controversies, David Walliams remains an iconic figure who is adored by millions around the world. He is not only known for his comedic talents, but also for his extensive charity work and his unmatched contribution to the world of children's literature. His contributions are undeniable as David has swam across the English Channel to raise money for sport relief and has authored almost 30 novels and short stories. What do you think about David Walliam? Why did Lara choose to leave him just five years after they got married? Will he ever find true love again? Did he make the right decision in leaving Britain's Got Talent? Where do you think he is these days? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more such content.